XO looks confusing AF. I'll, I'll just bring up XO then. Here's my library of samples. Red is like kick sounds. Blue is snares and claps and stuff. Yellow is hi-hats. So you've got these eight sounds and it forms a kit. And we can preview that kit with this. And if we want to change, let's say, um, this shaker sound. Yeah, cool. I don't like this kick anymore, let's go here. That's cool, but let's go do something similar. Sure. Right? So that's all really easy to do. Um, once I'm in this, this pattern here, or once I've got my kit se selected, I can modify this uh, with the controls at the bottom. And I, 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 there's even a little bit of a s sequencer at the bottom. So velocity is just drag up and down, click to turn on and off the steps. And then there's a, a swing and there's a nudge, control. And so you can do a lot of stuff just from this one screen, like a one, one thing at a time sort of screen. We can also go to edit. Now we have all eight drums and the controls for each one, all in one screen. And we also have the sequencer. So let's play this. And at any time, I can just change this sound. Right? So it's, you don't have to constantly go back to the sample browser and, and try different things. So we've got a basic pattern in here. How about some effects? There's two send effects. Um, so here's the kick. Actually, let's do it on the snare. So I can turn up. There's two different reverbs. There's a sample editor. Uh, we could do things like, I forget, fade, auto detect the start, lots of things. Then there's also the beat combiner tab, which gives you sort of like Euclidean types of, of patterns automatically for you. So there's like these one click sorts of things that puts in a bunch of shapes or something in there automatically. But you can click on any of these. So here's what I had pattern, or my original pattern for the kick drum is there, and I can try out different ones. or I can randomize it. And if I like that, I can hit this export button. I can render that as a wave. I can drag this into Reaper, hit stop. And then when I go to a Reaper, it's playing at my project tempo. Uh, there's host sync and 
you know, all the usual stuff that you expect is there. Atlas is very similar, actually, like with the same idea, but a different interface. You can have more samples simultaneously in Atlas. The step sequencer is very traditional. I really liked the beat combiner function and just kind of the look of this. I like a little bit more. Neither are, are bad. Be happy with either one, probably. XO one for me. You drag and drop samples into XO. I've actually never tried. Funnily enough, I've, I've never tried that. File drop not supported. You can only drop folders on XO. Drop one or more folders to add them to the sample folders. So there you go. I would go with Satala over Poise, personally, um, because it has the built-in effects. If you don't need multiple layers of sounds, round robin, things like that, if you're fine with just basically velocity scaling, uh, velocity to, to volume scaling, then I, I think Satala works fine. This seems to have a lot of the same features that like Geist had for, for layering the sounds. Voice has some effects, just basic effects, yeah. If you see XO, XLN Audio XO on sale, I would recommend getting it. I got it for 55.30 US. So Plugin Boutique had a good deal on that.